Now in this data, what we could do, we can run these different uh, different filters after we have run statistics here, and I can choose the partition count and the modularity class here. Here you see that there is a, like a 1 to 67 available, and then if I try to go from 1 to 4, apply the filter, a lot of single nodes are gone. If I try to come here, just 3 and filter about 241 nodes, 356 edges, and a lot of mm, nodes which either nobody mentioned them or they never they did not receive a uh, tree it's really gone so that is what we have really filtered the data so now we got this partition count available and now we can go ahead and look into the visualize this data for much much uh, to get much better insight out of it okay so come to the partition select nose run refresh and here you will find modular t class available it just shows that the the information the, the nodes with their different different values so what we could do we can apply this modular t class here and based on that if we look into we can uh, see much more rich data here but we will very soon first we applied the modular t class now what we can do we can come to the ranking and we can come to the nodes select modularity class and use this diamond option here which is already set and here i can say that uh, let's use a start from 10 and maximum size is 150 so what is it now based on this modularity class is the community so the community which are larger they are going to get size is bigger versus the community which are smaller is going to get a size of small so these are the nodes size minimum and maximum so if i try to minimize it to five run it where some of like here you see the smaller community and then if i try to make it 200 nodes got bigger so that's where i will try to reduce it so there are some content is coming out something is like it's some some of this data is stretching out okay if i come here and use in degree and I apply this same thing. Now what you are really seeing here that within the in degree the size of node is telling dimension. So this particular node is telling it got two dimension, but versus the other nodes, it did not. Now if I use outer degree and apply it, now other way is happening. So this is the particular node is really mentioning a lot to others versus other nodes is not so this is the based on size so because of only one node has larger value so what we will do we will try to make it 30 and now you see let's make it 50 and that's where you are really trying to see that impression data impressions are coming out in much granular so in degree out degree always remember and then modularity class is all about community once we have this data now we try to use the layout and try to adjust this data okay so i said here i'm running it okay let me try to reduce it and that's okay let it adjust okay so here and stop okay so now you could see that based on our work we, we were able to create this data base data on modularity class so these are the colonies or, or communities we are able to create and the size is actually reflect the the dimension or they really received okay now what we can do we can add the labels and when we say labels it means that what these twitter handles are in order to uh, make this data graph look like much more uh, useful now to show the node handle we will use this option t and if you see here that based on this the node 
some of the nodes they they have handles are available and we can use this to change the font and what you are really font size what you are really seeing here depend on node size so uh, one thing I, I missed so when you select this there is something you are going to select node and here is the option that choose the node name based on node size so the bigger the node bigger the size if we choose fixed all nodes will have exact same size but if we choose the node size is the font will be used depend on node size so here you see that the smaller nodes they have smaller size of text and if we try to go zoom and that's why you see versus the bigger nodes they have uh, bigger font size you can also adjust the font size base up to here so you could be looking to once we made this change we can make it this way at least you see that node content is not visible and in order to make it look better what we will do we will change the uh, layout we will come here and we have a special layout something called label adjust once we choose label adjust and the speed is one and we try to run it and now you will see what is happening so notes are being set and that's the label adjust algorithm is really brought the result for us now we still we can see that uh, some of this based on our modularity this is not really so what we can do we can make this graph little more so we can reduce the gravity to 10 okay and the we can have the attraction strength is one and we run the graph now it's really stretching out and that's way we can so that we can see the data much better okay and stop it now we come here we still really need to adjust the okay so here we have this okay let's try to make have the displacement 10 try to add it to 100 run it okay let's will try to you see that we are trying to adjust these nodes okay let's stop it okay so this is what we are seeing so because of modularity class that will always be the case now if we try to come back and ranking nodes and we use in degree apply it and if we try to change the font here now it really shows you that which particular nodes are really being popular in order to get their tweet retweeted again and if that's if we try to use that way and that's that's all we have now if you really need to reduce these nodes to for further level what we could do we can come here and we can change this to lower degree here and then try to condense it run this algorithm attraction strength to 20 gravity to 30 run okay this point here Okay, I think that's this and then it's try to make it attraction strength one maximum displacement two hundred run adjust the label there you go so that's the graph we have created based on in degree once we came here if we really need to change some of this data we can look into because most of the time nodes if you would want to have the 3d view within the 
now if we try to go closer you see these nodes are changed to 3d okay and uh, what else we could do we can twist this data to a little more so we have set the destabilization gravity is to keep this and just try to make it five little more expanded okay bring closer add little more font to it okay that's what you are really seeing here in this graph do some label adjustment it's just you you would need to play with uh, your data in order to get what you are looking for so that's what we really got now we can come back to preview refresh it okay nodes this is what we are really seeing if we really need to make much more so we have these labels are available we can actually change the labels in in order to look refresh label got little big okay and uh, if you would want to have some edges are there if you want to change okay so this is the graph we have created based on in degree means what you are really seeing here is the size of node has dimension so Harton works got really big big mention from others so that's where you could see here uh, I'm, I'm zooming and that's where I'm really looking into and you could actually change the edge if you would want to change the edge uh, thickness to higher degree refresh it that gives little more visibility to the graph and the colors are mixed edge arrow is already there edge labels we are not really putting edge label that's why it's not really um, checked in here font is already to make it little more big refresh it it make little more clarity okay sometimes what happens that you can create a you can create this box and you see and then you can change its opacity to 10 and you just create a little hello next to the label name and that's where you you could get that content out there short on label this is like if you have label you want to really max max min minimum set them up to min maximum 30 characters that's why you could use it so that's what our graph which is created based on the number of number of tweet number of tweets we can use export it and we can export this graph to pdf and we can export it and we can say hadoop in degree save it now we come back here out degree apply it things changed run the label adjustment come to here change the layout okay and direction is strength 20 put the gravity to 30 run it that's okay and then make it little more smaller and now attraction is strength to one displacement uh, make it 100 and gravity to 15 run it it's gonna expand it okay if you want to twist it okay we can come back to preview refresh it that's what we really get if you would want little more expansion we can come back here and we can say force layout and attraction strength is one uh, put the grab six and it's gonna pull together a little more closer okay let's reduce it okay I think that's we have and then we can come back to preview refresh it I think that's it